Hi, in this video, I'm going to be trying to answer a very common question that couples have. And our question is, should couples have joint bank accounts or separate bank accounts? In our society today, we know that more and more people are having this question and some of them are, are having separate bank accounts. I know many friends that do that. And so uh, to answer this question, I'm going to make a few observations first, and then I'll give you my conclusion. The first observation is that couples are one before God. You can see that in Genesis 2.24, where it speaks of the first couple, Adam and Eve, becoming one flesh. Paul talks about the same kind of thing in Ephesians 5. You can check out those chapters for yourself. The second observation is it's God's money. When we talk about handling our money within a marriage, one thing we must be very clear on is that my money isn't my money. Your money, that's if you're the spouse, isn't your money. It's all God's money. And what we are doing is we are only serving as stewards of God's money. The Bible is clear. The earth and everything in it belongs to the Lord. The cattle on a thousand hills belongs to God. Everything, God created everything. He created us. He owns us. And everything we own. So when now it comes to handling this money, if we get it straight that it is God's money, it is not my money, that the best interest of God's money is what is being sought, then that starts to make things clear. The third observation that I think which is important to make is that the body and things of the married couple belong to each other. We see that in, in 1 Corinthians 7 and also in the book of Ephesians. So the logic becomes if you literally, according to the Bible, are one person, not two. When the two are married, they become one flesh. And the scriptures talk about, let no man put asunder what God has united. If so if God has united you and sees you as one, and also he says in terms of, of, of sexual intimacy, that the, sp the wife has control over the husband's body and the husband has control over the wife's body. If it says such things and it talks about oneness, uh, how about the things that they own? The Bible sees that the things that they, they own are, are owned together. Even the law today, in many societies, the law... If your husband dies, you own everything. If your wife dies, you own everything. If you divorce, you split the things 50-50. That means even the law acknowledges this joint ownership that God also acknowledges. So, and this is true, if you are married and one person makes a million a year and the other person makes 50,000 a year, the things you grow and own, they are jointly owned and split the same. God sees that way. Most laws see it that way because people contribute to the relationship in different ways. So uh, uh, we also see here that we, the church, are, are, are the bride of Christ and we are co-heirs with him. We don't have separate bank accounts. The scriptures paint a picture in which we will reign with Christ. And it talks about that everything that God has belongs to us. God, we inherit God. God is our inheritance. We own everything that God owns when we become his children. When we become the bride of Christ, we own everything he owns. What does that say about the type of marriage that God wants believers to live. The fourth observation is the common reasons for separate bank accounts, such as trust issues, independence, different spending habits, point to greater underlying problems uh, and separate bank accounts 
only address the symptoms, not the root cause. So uh, when a couple starts looking at, okay, let's split bank accounts, they are wanting to do that because they want to be able to protect something. They want, they, they have different spending patterns and there, there are many reasons they give for it. Those reasons in my experience and in the experience of many other uh, scholars that have looked at, they point to something deeper. They, they, you are supposed to be one, to share everything and, and, and you are managing God's money. The, the, the problems that are arising that are causing you to want to consider having separate accounts, maybe those problems should actually point you to trying to seek solutions that allow you to collaborate and work together and manage one account. And in doing so, you'll actually grow more than artificially separating bank accounts while leaving the root problems untouched. So should couples have joint bank accounts or separate bank accounts? I think that God's point of view points more toward saying that couples should have the same bank account, not separate bank accounts. I have the same bank accounts with my wife and it's worked very well. If you have issues with trying to handle bank accounts and you have questions to ask, please uh, ask in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you.